What's up you guys? Yes, you guessed it. Your girl is still sick. <laughs> I hate life right now. Um, but tonight we're going out for one of our friends birthday dinners, which is probably going to be the plans every night this month because everybody we know is born in December, including me. So there's going to be a lot of getting ready. Don't mind my background. We've got people staying with us tonight. So I had to move that back so we can fit an air mattress in here. It's all a thing. Also, we got a printer and it's so ugly. Like printers are hideous, but we're gonna start on makeup. So let's go. I am probably just gonna be doing like my go-to like going out look. So I'm gonna start off with the Bobbi Brown face base. I like to use this when I'm going out as like a moisturizer because it's a lot lighter than anything I have. And it just like works really well with makeup. If you can hear sports in the background because there's sports in the background. <laughs> okay, so I have this thing from Lime Crime. It's called their Bushy Brow, and it's like a marker. And I actually really enjoy brow markers, so I think I'm gonna try it. I'm going to conceal around my eyebrow first. I've been doing that lately as well. Where's that brush? Okay, oh, wait, I should fill in my pores a little bit. One second. I'm gonna take some Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer. Just put that right here, just in like the T-zone area. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Rubbing your nose. Oh my God, it's so tickly. Okay, so it's a, like a thin little felt tip. So this is probably gonna take me forever, but we're gonna do it because I love the way brow markers look. They look so nice and natural, but still like really good and defined. Also, I've only been carving out under my eyebrow lately because I feel like it just looks a little bit more natural. I've been into it. Wow, that looks really good. I like that a lot. <coughs> Oh, fuck. Wow, that's a good brow, bro. Okay, let's see this side. This is always my trickier brow, so let's see. Yep. Oh my god, I'm so into this. I'm very impressed with this. Like, oh my god. Doesn't it look incredible? Or is it just me? Now this is the bushy brow uh brow gel. I like that brow a lot. Okay, so we're gonna use the Morphe. James Charles palette today because I'm really into it, like really, really into it. I'm gonna prime it with the Essence Color Intensifying Primer. Um, I need to find a really good eye primer, so please let a bitch know in the comments what your favorite eyeshadow primer is because I'm kind of over using concealer. Um, I don't know, it's not giving me the effect that I want. Like I want something made specifically for like eyeshadow. I want to do something really smoky. So I'm starting off with this orange shade. What is this called? Code James? Code James. Ooh. I always do this. I always put like more pigment or more product on one eye <laughs> than the other and it's usually this eye. Next I'm gonna take 10% off <laughs> on this brush. This one is like not as pigmented as it looks in the pan. Actually, I'm lying, it's the exact same color. I want something like super blown out and smoky today. So that's what we're doing. Something super blown out, smoky, and glittery, which is honestly one of the easiest kind of looks to do, especially if you're a beginner. Blow out a bunch of different warm browns and then pop some glitter on the lid and you're good to go. Trying to think now because I always may wait until the last minute to make this decision. I'm trying to decide if I want to do a wig now or not. I'm, I'm thinking maybe like a powder wing, like an, an eyeshadow, black eyeshadow wing. But I don't think I want a full, you know. Okay, a little E25 action. Mm, that brown looks too red for me right now. Let's see. No, that's actually really pretty. Okay, next I'm doing no beans. I'm just gonna pack this right on the, oh yeah. I'm into that. For some reason, these warm, dark brown shades always end up looking eggplant purple on me. Is that just my face? You know what I've started to think about? When I do my makeup, I'm like, how annoying is this gonna be to take off when I get home drunk? And honestly, if I really answered that question every time I do my makeup, I would just end up not wearing makeup because isn't that the worst when you come home after a long night out, you're pretty wasted and you still have to do your full skincare routine because you put on so much makeup that it's all or nothing. You're either taking it all off, doing your full skincare routine at the end of the night, or you're just going to sleep in your makeup and that is not an option for me. I know it's not like, I know it's a sin to not take off your makeup at the end of the night and I do agree it is and I know sometimes like you just can't get out of it. Like you are just so like over it that you just, you can't, you can't even deal. But 
those nights I end up like not sleeping at all because the whole time in my mind I'm like oh my god my makeup's still on oh my god my makeup's still on it's gonna get all over my white pillowcase oh my god what am I gonna do in the morning it's gonna feel so gross and it always feels disgusting when I wake up like I feel atrocious and that mixed with a hangover is never good so it's just always worth it always do your skincare at the end of the night it's gonna take you 10 minutes and you're gonna feel so much better okay I'm so into this right now like so into it i look like i'm dying though because my face is so pale okay let's decide what glitter we're gonna put on top because that is crucial this green is kind of calling my name but i'm also wearing like there's like burgundy velvet in my pants so maybe not oh man oh man i kind of want to use this because i feel like on top of the brown oh my god i feel like on top of the brown it's gonna look epic should i foil it i feel like i should okay is that the decision I'm making. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna lay down some Too Faced glitter glue. This is the hardest decision of my life. I'm so dramatic. I'm just gonna take this and pat it right on top of my eye, like right over that brown. And then I'm gonna go into this shade in the Pat McGrath palette. I don't know if it has a name, but oh well. Oh, that looks green. Um, oh, okay, cool. Um, not what I wanted. <laughs> that looks straight up. Oh my god, that looks so green. I'm such an asshole. Wait, let's try this gold on top. Maybe that'll. Oh, okay, that's a little goldier. Straight up looks green now. That's intense. Okay, um, other side. Because, I mean, we're too deep now. It does look really cool. I just. Don't necessarily know if it matches my outfit for tonight, but it's gonna have to work because it honestly looks gorgeous. Like I really do enjoy it, but I am gonna go back in with this, with the dark brown and kind of deepen up the crease. Okay, be getting somewhere. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight my brow bone with ring light, which is actually a super pretty brow bone highlight. These eyes look different. What they, why do they look so different? Yeah, I'm gonna give myself a little smoky wing with the black in the James Charles palette, which is called Spooky. Oh, I like this other brush better for it. It's bigger. Putting this on top of the glitter was probably my worst idea, but I actually don't care if it's glittery. I just want it to be darker. Hi, I'm Ashley, and my eyes are completely different shapes. Okay, let's clean up this outer edge because it's looking a hot mess, quite frankly. Ooh, this is pretty. Look at her. Are we gonna do our skin next or lashes? I think skin. Lately, I've been kind of dying over the Dior Forever foundation, which I know, you guys, if you watched my products I regret buying video, that was in it. So, you know, just don't ever listen to me is basically the moral of the story because I'm trash and I don't know what I'm talking about. Because this foundation is actually really nice. Um, it wears beautifully, but you do need like eight pops still. So one, two, three, four, five, and I'll probably need a little bit more, but it's a good foundation, so whatever. This right here is ruining my life. This black eyeshadow on my upper lip. Wow, way to have a mustache. Hold that thought. I'm actually going to shave off my mustache right now because Lately, this is not well. well. So glad I remembered that. <laughs> Cause I'm like, every time I edit my pictures and my makeup, I'm like, wow, that looks shadowy. Five o'clock shadow bit. So yeah, we're going to this place called Boqueria tonight. Boqueria. Sorry, I always forget I'm Hispanic. And it's a really cool place. They have a few different locations in the city. Me and Meech actually went to the one in Soho for our anniversary in October. But the one we're going to tonight is in Fort Greene in Brooklyn which is convenient for us. It's a really cool spot if you're ever in New York or if you live in New York. It's like Spanish tapas, so it's like small plates and they have really good sangria, like a bunch of different flavors. It's a little bit pricey, but it's really good food. And if you wanna go with like friends, it's a really good place to like bring a group. So if you're ever in New York and you need a cool place to eat and chill and have some sangria, highly recommend that place because it's really really good it does get crowded though so if you really want to go then make a reservation i'm really into these brows like i really like that little brow marker i did a face mask today here right here i'll show you this is the rodile vitamin c brightening mask and to be honest like i used it and i did look brighter but i also looked like kind of orange is that like all brightening masks do is like make you look orange so you think that you're brighter 
I don't know, it was weird, but I did really enjoy how my skin looked when I took it off. I'm also really enjoying how my skin looks right now. Wow, this foundation is nice. It is dry, so if you have oil, if you have dry skin, I don't know how you would like it, because it's pretty matte. It is pretty damn matte. But if you're oily, oh my god, you're gonna love this. And like for a night out, it's a really good foundation for that. But like it makes the spot look darker and it's really pissing me off. So I don't know what to do with that. Oh my god, my beauty blender just rolled over the blue and purple side of the James Charles palette and I was like, oh god. Whenever I have something like super atrocious that I need to conceal, I always take the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer and just dot it on. It usually does the trick, but this guy is annoying today. Like, give me a break, bro. This isn't to carve out my brows, but it's just like the beauty blender doesn't get... I can't get directly above my eyebrows with the beauty blender because it'll like take off my eyebrow. So I'll just fill it in with a little concealer brush and call it a day. It looks like red if I don't do this. Now that that's dry, let's pat over it. Oh, that's kind of better. Okay, now Too Faced Born This Way in Almond. I finally realized like what my shade name is because I had no idea I was just using it every day. And then I pulled out another shade because I wanted something a little lighter. And I realized I was using Snow for like a week and I was like, no wonder my makeup looks crazy because I've been using like the lightest shade for under my eyes and I look insane. I'm gonna let this sit a little bit before I blend it out because I want especially under my eyes to be like really nice and bright. I put up a poll on Instagram about these shoes, these, these like Fila like chunky shoes and I asked if you thought it was fire or not and it's funny because all the people that said that they're fire are people I know own them already <laughs> uh, which is funny. Okay let's start blending. Why is my hand itchy right now? Don't they say when your palm is itchy that you're about to come into some money or something? Or is it that people are talking shit about you? I can't remember the superstition, but apparently when your palm is itchy it means something. I think it's money. But let me know down in the, in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. I swear to god, Puerto Ricans have the craziest superstitions. I talked about one in my last vlog. <laughs> Wait, no. Did I? No, I didn't. I'm crazy. Some of them I like actually like swear by because I'm like too scared not to. <laughs> like for instance, don't whistle in the house because it summons the devil. Like it scares me. Like, no, I don't want the devil in my house. Stop whistling. Also, I kind of hate when people whistle. It really annoys me. So like all for it. <laughs> but also um, no hats on the bed for, like, because it's bad luck. My mom has like literally ingrained that in my brain since I was born. So like even when I put a hat on the couch, I like almost like have a panic attack and I'm like, okay, it's not a bed, it's a couch. No hats on the bed is for real. I mean, honestly, I don't know that <laughs> I've had bad luck anytime I've done that. But anytime there's a hat on the bed and I see it, I'm like, oh, hat! even in other people's house. Imagine like I go over somebody's house and there's a hat on the bed and I'm just like, no. Honestly, I would. I want people in my life to have bad luck. So I like actually felt kind of better today, but I sound a lot worse. So I don't know what's up with my body. I'm really fucking over being sick. It's so annoying. It's really just like rude. Like, come on, immune system. I've been giving you heaps and heaps of ginger every hour on the hour. Can you just please utilize it? Because I'm over it right now. This powder is life changing. I don't think I'll ever use another loose powder ever in my life. Oh, my nose is itchy again. Oh, have I ever told you guys the story about my 19th or my 20th birthday when I forgot to wear mascara? It was honestly tragic. Like I still think about it. Like how actually, how did you do a full face of glam? Like I was like beat to the gods. I mean, for 2012 anyway, uh, beat to the gods. And I didn't put on mascara. I didn't. It was halfway through the night. I was so drunk and I was like, whoa, what did I just do? Like, what did I just do? And I didn't even go and find mascara to put it on. Like, I just kept looking that way. That is the only memory I have of my 20th birthday. I may have some water. I should probably go take a day quilt. A lower lash line. I want it like super dark, super smoky. Let's get it. Although if I rub my eye, I'm fucked, but I would be fucked either way. Okay, so NARS. I think this is Via Veneto Group Bonifar. I can't remember the name of the shade because it's rubbed off, but it's the NARS eyeliner. That's sexy. This is my favorite under the eye brush. I'm gonna go in with Co James. I'm gonna bring that like kind of hella low. That's kind of low, right? I love a good smoke. Ooh, I look so vixen-y. Do I? Uh, <laughs> the black in the waterline to set that on a little bit. And then I'm gonna take a little flat definer brush and go into uh, No Beans. Oh, yeah, that's the smoke I wanted. My eyes look this big. <laughs> okay, let's highlight my inner corner with ring light. Ring light is actually, it like looks deceiving in the pan, but it's kind of gorgeous. You know what I should do? 
I have to take a little bit of the gold from the Pat McGrath, this like white gold, and pop that on the inner corner as well. Ooh, fancy. Bitch, who said sick? Who said you were sick? Oh, your nasal passages, that's good. Cool. What kind of lashes? Okay, so this is my little safe spot. There's like seven pairs of, one just fell. I swear to God, oh no, I didn't. Um, yeah, this is where I keep my lashes. Should I do the hoodas? I think I should. I think I'm gonna do the hoodas, the Samantha number seven. I do have to peel off the glue though because the lash band is very rash and like you're gonna be able to tell that I've worn these before. It's like crazy to me that I ever thought like lashes were like one and done. I wear my lashes over and over and over again. All you gotta do is peel off the glue and you're good to go. Finally, I have the full size of the Lancome Monsieur Big, which isn't necessarily the mascara I need for putting on false lashes, but I just wanna use it, quite frankly. Wow, from this angle, I can see such a patchy spot on my eyeshadow at the outer corner. I just have to literally do this. I need a new chair because this one is so squeaky. Also, just because I need a new chair. Hi, baby. Because <laughs> it's easy to Good night. Why are you whispering? I'm the one with the lost voice. Okay, lashes are on. Let's hope they stay on. I have to say though, Huda, there's like 87 parts of this packaging. Like, why can't we just so ex excessive. I cut my nails before we, Oh, I feel like I'm just picking up snot. Picking up snot and putting it right back on my face. Ugh, that is the most disgusting feeling. I know, this is the sexiest get ready with me you've ever goddamn seen. Okay, I'm done with eyeshadow, so get the fuck out of my face. I love this palette, but it's so big. Like, I'm just going away. Very irritable right now, apparently. <laughs> Let's do some Bobbi Brown Golden Light. You know, I feel like using a different brush for bronzer today. I can use this guy, because why not? I used to really love this guy for bronzer. I'm listening to the game out there and then also getting all of these notifications on my phone is really annoying. Like if you know, my TV is sending me notifications to my phone, but my TV is playing the game, so it should know that I'm watching it. Oh, a beverage. Can you also bring me a day quill so I can stop snotting? Thank you. Wow, living with a bartender is kind of lit. Ex-bartender. He's like, please bitch, get drunk already so you can be not sleepy. Although I might just get sleepier the drunker I get. Thanks, bitch. Day quill. Heal me. I'm gonna a little water. Did he go and get ginger ale? Or is this just seltzer water? It might just be seltzer. No, the seltzer water, but very little. Oh my god, that's strong. I still haven't like built up my tolerance back from Whole30 because we haven't really gone out much since. Wow, tonight's gonna be fun. Good thing I'm not on antibiotics. When you're on antibiotics and you have to like, and you still have to like go places, but you can't drink. The worst, the worst. Okay, I really, really fuck with this brush for bronzing, like over this one. Oof, that's just like so much more diffused. I'm into that. I'm like really into that. Okay, I really need to get like some new contour products, but this will do. I actually have the Kat Von D palette, but it's in my kit and I never think to use it for myself. Kind of really like my hair in a bun right now, but I'm gonna put some weave in because why not? It's the first holiday season adding. We gotta put the weave in. Okay, I'm gonna take my time with my nose contour, you guys. I'm gonna really try to perfect it. One side is good. That side is always fine. And then this side is like, okay, first of all, this mirror is way too tiny. Like, what the fuck is this? I feel fucking cross-eyed. She's okay. I feel like I need James Charles to come over and teach me how to nose contour. Well, that's pretty good. Wow. Ashley, you're getting somewhere. You know what you're getting? You're getting more snot in your nose. That's what you're getting. Sit, get ready with me. <laughs> Oh, I forgot I have this. I'm gonna use this little blush palette from Profusion. Let's try a sheet. Oh, God. let's see how that. Oh, I like that actually. I chose this color and I thought it was gonna be too light for me, but I actually like it. It's like dull, but I kind of fuck with dull blushes. Okay, so I used this yesterday, this L'Oreal Shimmerista, Lumi Shimmerista, um, and it's like too pink for my skin right now. I need more of a tan to get away with it, but it's really pretty. Um, so what am I gonna use today? Oh, you know what I'll use? I got this, the 3D highlighter palette from Huda Beauty. Oh, Santorini. Uh, I don't really know if I like these, to be honest. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I like that. I'm gonna put that away. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. 
Okay, I'm gonna go with the color icon, Carol, which I showed in my, uh, I think it was the drugstore fall glam I did. Uh, uh, um. Oh yes, oh my God, yeah. That is exactly what she wanted. I keep referring to myself in the third person and like it's kind of weirding people out, but I can't stop doing it, so please help. Oh my God, I look like a fucking glazed donut. I hate when people say that, but I keep doing that too. So like I said, please send help. My first vlogmas video went up like I think an hour ago. I gotta check on the stat. Give this video a thumbs up if you watched that one. And if you haven't, go watch it right now. Now I'm like, damn, I should have saved this for a like full on makeup tutorial, but let's see if there's anything in this. I feel like it's all out, but let's see. No, oh, there actually was some. Cool. Um, for lip, I'm feeling the mood. You know why? Because I have this. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, I have this wet cherry gloss from Lime Crime. I want to do like a super duper glossy nude lip. Who am I kidding? I need Coco Loco. Where is it? Coco Loco never does me wrong. Very jumpy. Oh, look at that. Okay, let me clean this up before I go any further. Okay, I really, really took my time with my lip liner. Now, what lipstick do we do? So my um, Desi Katie lipsticks, they both say Aftermath, but one of them is the other color. I don't know what the other color's name is, but I'm gonna use the lighter one. I don't know if this is Aftermath or the other one is. These are super pigmented. I put a little bit on and then I blend it in like OD. Now I'm gonna top it off with the Wet Cherry Gloss. This is in Extra Poppin'. It's just the clear one. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. It smells like cherries, but also like cake. Oh, that's cool. Oh, see. Damn, I feel like there's like not very much in here. I'm gonna go through this so quick. Ooh, this is a look. I may be sick, but I don't look sick. I may be sick, I may sound sick, I may cough sick, but I don't, at least I don't look sick. Oh, damn, I feel sick. <laughs> okay, it's hair time. Let me grab my weave. <laughs> Happy to say I made this weave, weave myself. My girl, Zoe, she dyed it for me to match my hair, and then me and her together sewed the whole weave together like we sewed the clip-ins and all that it was actually pretty damn easy like i feel like anybody could do it buy your bundles get them dyed and do that shit yourself dude because like it was too easy to be paying 300 dollars for some clip-ins you know okay um so i have to i worked out today so i have to go in and straighten my roots again because you girl just went ahead and sweated her edges out at the gym <laughs> And I have super kinky curly hair, so if I do this, I'm gonna be at first ball by the end of the night. I'm gonna clip in my extensions as I do it because oh, why the heck not? You guys know how many little teeny sections I take because of how crazy I am. Well, my hair, but I get those edges. Take me a little bit matches my roots. <laughs> so these are only 16 inches. I think some of the pieces are actually 14 inches, which I like because it's not like crazy obnoxious long. Like I don't look like I have like crazy porn star hair or something. Which is like, I know people like super long extensions, but they're a lot, they're a lot. I've had super long extensions and it's just like too much hair to like be functional. You just have a headache all night and it's not fun. I ain't no man fuck with you. I'm living my best life. I don't know why that song's in my head. Cause I am, I am, actually I'm really not living my best life right now. I'm so sick. Sorry you can't see the back, but do you care? My ratchet nail polish is sabotaging my hair. Ting, 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 ting. What is that from? Oh, Wizard of Oz. It was like a little bit of a remix of Wizard of Oz, though. I'm here for a good time, a long time, you don't fight. I'm gonna have a good time, and a long time, you don't fight. You hate me too, don't worry. I'm a bit of a list. Oh, that looks kind of pretty, though. Oh, there's some pieces I need curling. It's like 80 different pinks, I love it. Oh, there's a day cool commercial on right now, how fitting. I swear, the government's listening to your every move. Well, actually not even the government, just marketers. Meech and I were laying in bed one day and he said he needed hand cream and I had one. So I gave it to him and it was the Ahava brand. And literally like, he was on his phone 20 minutes later. Mind you, we didn't search anything. We literally just, he didn't even say the brand name out loud. And 20 minutes later, he went on his phone and he saw uh, an ad for Ahava. Isn't that fucking insane? The FBI agents, they're not even in your cell phone anymore. They're just in your eyeballs. Conspiracy theory. We have chips inside of us. They put it in us before we were born. Actually, that's so dramatic. I'm <laughs> sorry. One way you're down. <laughs>
Okay, now it's time to get dressed. Let's take another sip. Oh yeah, 